Hey everyone, thank you for joining today. I'm David from Hankat Industries. In today's video, we're gonna start working on the passenger side on the Mitsubishi Air 300 motorhome project, taking off the panel which just covers the A pillar to see what's behind it and start working on a wheel arch. Unfortunately, it's a lot worse than the driver's side. We have to cut out a quite big section. We're gonna make up a plan and just crack on with the project. We try to recycling materials as much as possible and do a project as cheap as possible. Try not to buy um, materials, if that makes sense. Instead of buying sheet metal, we're using steel shelves, washing machines or other interesting objects just to take our project where we want it to be and as we're saying it's not a hobby it's a lifestyle thank you very much for Ink Heart UK to sponsoring our YouTube channel if you're looking for Hankat Industries t-shirts or mugs or other goodies just visit their web shop I'm gonna put the link below right that was enough chatting let's get started So we got a screw which is holding down there. One screw up there. One behind the rubber seal. Buried somewhere there. And one down there. It's not too tricky to get it out. It's only um, tiny little screws. Head. Yeah, have a look. What I found is it's completely loose. They just haven't been attached to, to anything. Focus. All we have to do is get out the screw. On the other side, I had to drill it out. This comes out quite easily. So this section is completely gone. It's it's very bad. Got this connector and then the hose. And it's nice and easy to remove. First I would like to give it a good clean so you have a better idea how bad it is. And probably I'm gonna do the same as I done the other side. Start with the wheel arch with a step, then remove the door. Unfortunately on this side it's a lot worse than I thought. I'm gonna use my little grinder with wire brush on it. Clear up all the areas to see well, we already see, but um, just tidy up to have a better, a better picture of what we got. I just find something which just makes me extremely disappointed. There was a little filler. this so I have to make up a plan I 
So yeah, technically, this whole section has to come out. What I'm gonna do before I cut it out, I'm gonna make a template, bend everything into the right shape, and then cut it out in sections and replace it. I'm gonna get it off most of the wheel arch, unfortunately. In the first place, it actually looked better than it is. All the filler, and there's some, again, this very thin tin that they used. That's gonna be our first job. So I'm gonna use paper template. That's my new favorite toy. I use this as a straight edge. It's magnetic. So that's how it starts. At least now I know it's gonna be wide enough. Especially when I fold the edges back. So it got the metal beaten up a little bit, started to um, hammer it into shape. So we know along there it has to be a little bit more round. And that's it really, just um, step by step. A little bit of hammering here and there. Smart up the edge for a 90 degree bend. Not too far now. I'm gonna zip cut there and I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna zip cut again and then I try to keep it this this one big piece. So I have to make this easier for myself a little bit shorter so I can get a uh, better handling I made um, a little bit curvy on the outside edge make it straight so I clamped into to a piece of timber all I'm gonna do is just hammer it down on the edge, nice and easy. And I have to mark up yeah, roughly where the, um, the curve is. So now we got a line, so we know we can make a, a bend. So 
that goes underneath like that, better bit down there. That's pretty good. This section is pretty much there. But because I got the curve this way, but also I have to bend the lips, I'm gonna try something what I haven't done before. But what I'm going to try, mark up the edge of the band and just do some zip cut and then try to bend in. So I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have to bend it up this way. We'll see how it's going. I'm not sure it's going to work, but it's worth a try. It's worth to try. Just gonna follow that line. Cut it all along there so I can bend it to shape, then make a nice cut to have a butt weld. I can follow this curve. That's the first time I'm doing this, and then, um, yeah, it's gonna be alright on the end. I think now it's time to cut all around. That's a big area. Wow. So that's been touched up before because it's so that's the um, previous repair. Extra layer up into the wheel arch. Because the top was gone quite badly. Definitely get rid of this uh, trapping moisture, I guess. in a few places I'm gonna have to close this gap up a little bit but still uh, the sand is <laughs> completely loose so plenty of play in it. Thank you very much for watching, that was it for today. So in the next episode probably we're gonna work on a step and carry on with the wheel arch. See you next time!